Okay, so as you now know, um, you already know about major scales and intervals and half steps and whole steps, which are intervals, right? So just to make a quick recap off of that, if you start on, uh, let's say C, right? C is like the basic note. It's like the, the standard note. Think of this as like um, everybody likes C because it's easy. So you take C. A half step above that is literally the next, the very next key over. So C, the very next key is this black key over here. This would be C sharp. Then this over here, you might be thinking C sharp sharp. That is a name. But to make it even better or less confusing, we would just call that D. So if a note is already sharp or flat, which we'll get into later, then the if you sharp it again, it's going to be just a normal letter. So if you take C sharp over here, the very next letter after C, A, B, C, D would be this note. So C, C sharp, C sharp, sharp is really just D. Then this one you can make into D sharp. D sharp, sharp would just be E. This would be E sharp or F. Same thing. Just call this F. So... There's two notes that do not really have a sharp. It's E and B. So the very next note would just be C, and the very next note for this would be F. Okay? So you got that, and pretty much you could do that with anything else. So this is E, this is F, F sharp. This would be G or F sharp sharp, which don't worry about that. So G, G sharp. Then this would be um, A, because it restarts A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Then A, B, C, and, you know, that's the kind of thing. Um, let's go over flats. So flats is kind of the opposite to sharp. It's going a half, half step the other way. So a half step down. So this is D. A half step down is literally the next note. D flat, double D flat. This it, Since it's already a flat, you would just be the note before it. So D, the note before it is A, B, C, D, C, D. It would be C. Oh. See, so yeah, now you know that, uh, and now you know that the formula for your major scale is a uh, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And uh, remember, this is a whole step, whole step is two half steps. So here's a half step, remember, it's literally the next key over. This is a whole step, two. So over here, you might be wondering, hey, what's the deal with this? This is so, this is E, right. The half step to E, remember, it'd be literally this note. It wouldn't be this note, it'd be this note. The whole step from E would be two. So it'd be one, two. Just so you and the same thing for over here. So just so you don't get confused. So if you start off at any note and you want to make a major scale, you follow the formula whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So if you start at C. You go up whole step, one, two, so whole step, whole step, half step, then whole step, whole step, remember, yeah, whole step, half step, yeah, uh, uh, whole step, and then you go up a half step, so, yeah, uh, so, again, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, and that works with any other thing, so, uh, let's take uh, over here. This would be a uh, C D E F G. This would be G sharp. So uh, the major scale for G sharp. Remember whole step. So then another whole step, then half step, then another whole step, then another whole step, then another whole step, then a half step, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's a major scale and. Uh, now we're going to be uh, talking about degrees. So um, uh, well, we're, uh, there's also minor scales, but we'll do that in the next video. So degrees. So a degree is kind of like a, a certain note of a scale. So let's take your uh, C major scale. So C, since this is the first note or the root note, um, this could be called the first degree. Or um, I'm not sure if that's the, actually the term, but um, it's called the root note since it's the root of the C major scale, right? So the second degree 
would be this one. Third degree, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, or really just the uh, the octave of the root. An octave is literally the same note, just um, twice as high or twice as low. So, yeah, just so uh, you remember that. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, so, yeah, uh, th those are the degrees. This is uh, the root of a scale or the first degree. This is the second degree of the C major scale, remember, because this is the C major scale. So, second degree, third degree, fourth degree, fifth, sixth, seventh, and the octave or eighth degree. So, there are two scales. There's also arpeggios. And arpeggios is another formula, but um, it it's specific. So, the formula of an arpeggio would be the root, the third, the fifth, the uh, root, third, fifth, and then the octave, or uh, the eighth. So, if you take C major, right, to make the C major arpeggio, you do uh, C, then the third degree, then the fifth degree, then the eighth degree or the octave, or the other C. So... And then you go down. So that is um, uh, what degrees are. So if I say, you um, uh, play the fourth degree of the C major scale, well, uh, you have the root note, second degree, third degree, fourth degree. So you'd be playing it um, F. So F is the fourth degree of the C major scale. And now you know that. So... um. Yeah, it's really not that complicated. Uh, if you need to just rewatch the video, uh, you'll get it down pretty soon. So you could do that with any other scale. So let's take uh, B flat, okay? This is B flat. So B, you make it a flat, B flat. Remember, a uh, half step below. So uh, let's do the formula again. So whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So then whole step, then another whole step, then a half step. Uh, uh, then a whole step, then another whole step, then another whole step, then a half step. So if I say, yeah, uh, let's do the arpeggio, okay? So this is the first degree. This is the second degree, since it's the very second note of the scale. Then this is this would be the third degree. Hey, okay. since it's, yeah, this would be the third degree since it's the third note, right? So you repeal again as the formula goes. It'd be the root the third fifth and then the other root or you know the octave so it'd be da, uh, then da, da, da. then you would find the fifth so so this would be the fifth fourth fifth so da, 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 da. so yeah so this would be the arpeggio for the uh a B flat major scale. Da, da, no, da, da, da. So yeah, and um, you might uh, be thinking, hey, uh, when you play those three or four notes at the exact same time, they sound exactly like a chord. Well, that's because it is a chord and it's a major chord. So um, we're, I'm gonna get into that in the next video, but um, just uh. A, a little sneak peek that, that that's pretty much how you make chords uh, uh and there's different kinds of chords different formulas for it but um just to recap so a half step is literally the next key of uh another note so uh so this is c right a half step would literally be this this would be sharp since it's going up right so a half step up of any note is sharp and a half step down is flat so uh c sharp c flat or also just b natural they're the same thing then a whole step is two then um uh, two whole steps so uh or like a whole step and a half step would just be three half steps so you know one two three whole step and then half step so yeah and then when you go down it's uh flat um scales are um when you start on any note, the formula for the major scale would be whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So three in the end. And uh, the way you make an arpeggio is you take the third degree, fifth degree, 
the root and then the octave of the root. So root is the first note you start off with. Then the third would be the third degree would be the third note of the scale. Then the fifth degree would be the fifth note. And then the octave would be just the root, but up. So yeah, that's the list.